If only some magical science wizard of undisputable awesomeness would come and help me. Whoa. That was convenient. Hello, young boy. I'm some magical science wizard of undisputable awesomeness. How can I be of service? You could help me with this problem that's extremely hard and way beyond my level of comprehension. Well, let's take a look at it. First, tell me what the question is asking for. The question is asking for which group has the most consistent data using this graph. Now give me all the information you know about this problem. What information do you think you need to know for this problem? I think I need to know how to find consistent data. Well, you need to know how to find data ranges. Do you know how to do that? Yes, I do. But I have a camera. Not for you. No, you. But no. Um, Jesse, you made a mistake. This isn't averages. This is data ranges. You don't add them up and divide by how many numbers there are. Well, then how do you find the data ranges? You subtract all the smallest number from the largest number, and then you'll get each set for each column. Data ranges are good for consistent data because the closer together each piece of information is, the more precise your data is. You don't want to be accurate here, you want to be precise. What's the difference between them? Accuracy is how close your data is to the expected point. Precision is how close your points are to each other. Accuracy is only good when you know what the right answer is. So that way, you know what to strive for. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Thanks, Magical Wizard.